Welcome back to Jayzuki, everyone. Today we are going to be learning the anatomy or the structure of the violin. All of it, just so you know. Let's look at the simplest item first. The tip. And I kind of like to think it's a Pinocchio nose or a swordfish nose. Then there's the stick, the grip, the screw, the frog. And somewhere in the frog, these horse hairs tie into it. Let's take a closer look. There's the frog right here. See the dot and the shiny and another dot. Then there's the screw and the grip and the bow hairs and the stick and finally the tip. Let's look at the bottom end of the violin first. Got my acoustic grip pad and the back of the violin. Then over here, I've got my button. You put that button into your neck. Your neck's the neck hole. Then you just simply get your chin comfortable and there you go. Now, there's the fish tail. And you can see why it's called a fish tail because it's in the shape of a fish tail. Then there's the fine tuners. Let's take a closer look at those fine tuners. When you twist it this way, it goes higher. And this way, lower. Sometimes your fingertips get sweaty, especially if you've been weaving, which I have been doing sometimes. And then, then it slips, so there's bumps to make it easier to twist. The bridge is a little wooden slight slice and it goes under here so that you can put your bow on and not put pressure on this part. It kind of goes up and then down and then like a bridge. The fingerboard is a board that you put your finger down all the way to sometimes when you're playing. The neck is this part of the violin. I call it a giraffe's neck sometimes because it's really long like a giraffe's neck. These are pe called pegs. If you twist them one way, the strings go that way. The violin body connected to the neck, the neck connected to the violin scroll. And then you can see why it's called a scroll because it's rolled up like a scroll. And sometimes you think it's a seashell like right around there. Hmm, what am I forgetting now? Oh yeah, silly me, the F holes the most important piece of the violin. If there's no F holes, there's not so much of a ringy sound because the waves of air go into the slot and come bounding out like a bouncy ball. They used to roll hard on the ground and then it just goes flying shortly but longly. If you've watched the Magic School Bus episodes, then there's this one where they go to the sound museum and they, they put on these special, special glasses that make you able to see sound. It's very interesting. Each different violin has a different color. One of my friends has one that's a walnut brown. What color is your violin? Can you be an awesome violin player? You can if you practice. So practice hard 
and I'll see you soon. Let's take a closer look up at the corner over there. Oh yeah! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and woo 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 woo